Um, this is uh, just a stunt. Uh, it, it's a, uh, uh, let's see, I probably don't want the auto fit here. Uh, you know, let's just put this thing. And now, zoom in on this thing. Namely, this unbelievable assembly line uh, is, is making a strange object. Uh, and then it finally gets lit off, uh, like so, and becomes this, uh, this uh, two C over five spaceship, which is just an amazing accomplishment to, to make to make these things by smashing the ladders together. But of course, they have to be slower than the, the thing making them; otherwise, uh, there wouldn't be room for the next one, right? So there's uh, it, it looks like they're keeping up, but they're really not. So anyway, um, now here's a, a, a construction problem, and that is uh, this is so complicated. I just want to so we'll go over here. Oops, that's a bit much. And do another shift the wheat, uh, and then come back. Okay. Suppose you want to construct some interesting object at some very great distance. Well, you'd like to smack gliders together. You can't because the gliders have to have been launched from a very great distance apart, and you don't. You, you're, you're not that wide. Okay. So if you want to, you want to make some interesting thing a light year away. You have a programmable block pusher that simply shoves blocks out there. Uh, and, you know, over the eons, just going push, push, push. There's, there's a way to do that, salvos of gliders. And then when you're all done, um, what you do is you just launch one glider right there uh, at the mess uh, and watch what happens. Okay, it goes up there, and if these blocks are in exactly the right places, uh, then you can uh, maybe you can speed it up a little bit here. Uh, and then, okay, and then finally, they all come together in the middle and make whatever it was you were trying to make, which in this case is this very spiffy period three oscillator. Uh, so, uh, another, yeah, I think that's, that's their heck. Uh, and uh, th there's credits on all these, and I should be telling you who did them, but, uh, so, but let's see, uh, oops, let's see, Jason Summers, I don't know who did all this, Jason Summers found the oscillator, but anyway, as you can see, Golly provides all this nice documentation, too. Um, so, uh, this one is uh, a period, uh, I'm sorry, a population that grows as three halves. You see, you can grow any exponent up to two. And this one is pretty simple because what it's doing is it's just making a parabola, a solid parabola. And uh, it's, so it's, 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 the parabola has, it's, it's the square root of x function, basically. And so, and the area of the parabola, uh, as you can see, the, you know, the slope of the thing is leveling off more and more. The, uh, the area of the parabola is going to be x to the 3 halves, or t to the 3 halves in this case. So this actually has a population that grows like that. Uh, now here's one where the population grows uh, like the cube root. Uh, of time. And the way that one works is that we uh, say, well, oh, let's hyperspeed this thing. Uh, and, uh, okay, so it looked like nothing was happening for a while, but now the, the, re the, whole, the whole thing is now a dot, but you can see what's happened here. It's actually counting up to n cubed and then e mini one wide. Okay, so that's basically going the population growth of the cube root. So, uh, and, you know, the thing that did it is way, way down here. Oh, uh, oh, oh, really? Okay, uh, in that case... Well, you'll uh, just have to reschedule the next time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, oh, my. Um, I, I won't show you this evolves, but this is a life pattern that's a very simple perturbation of that pi pattern, and it's just amazing. It doesn't look like life at all. It just look, looks like clouds. And so, again, who would, who would imagine that we have a life pattern uh, where you couldn't tell which color was live and which color was dead? Uh, and then, uh, finally, I guess, well, here, here is one of the... One of the goals of uh, one of the holy grails was to form a stable, a stable reflector. So this uh, this thing goes around here. Oh, sorry, uh, that that glider uh, you know, was reflected by that object, which then repaired itself. Uh, and then finally, uh, this object here. This is another one of the holy grails, which was life simulating any other cellular automaton. Namely, what we can do here. These are giant cells. Okay, so I make it faster and faster and faster. Uh, let's see. There it is. Okay. So there it is. <laughs> Just so you can see, oh, I'm way up. Okay, there it is. Uh, so you can actually see the, the little thing zooming around and pulling the neighbors. Uh, still too fast. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I see. It's, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, it's hyperspeed. Okay, so stop that. Okay, so now. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, down here. Here we go. Uh, okay, this, this will be the last one. So I, I guess I can wind up by saying that this entire talk.